All right, I know this is this is proven to be frustrating. It's a hell of a hell of a welcome back to getting on this again. Um, you know, I'm definitely thinking of ways to to help you get this whole thing. So one thing to I'd say avoid doing, like you like you're playing this slow. Don't line up your foot tapping with every downstroke because you can do eighth notes just fine if you basically don't force yourself to tap it as triplets it's just not going to happen i don't see it happening like being able to lock on to that right um just one thing you could do i'm trying to think of the ways you can practice this so so I would take your metronome, put your triplet subdivision on, and then you can play much slower than 60 and hear how it's all supposed to go. So let's go down to 30. So one and a two and a three and a four. So what I'm thinking you might want to do is just that uh, right here and <clears throat> finish with that upstroke that doesn't hit anything and then like pause for a moment like ask yourself did you do it right or not so something like this so one Miss. Maybe just say miss or up or whatever word would help you remember to bring your hand up while your foot taps. I don't know if saying four would be a good idea because we basically drilled if you say something like that, then you hit the strings. So maybe saying up or miss I think would be better in this case. So again, one and Two and a three and a miss. One and a two and a three and a miss. So maybe work that up. Maybe work that up and see how that goes. Um, and you can do the whole thing like that. So let's say, you know, doing the 30 here. You got the subdivision on. Just don't play the final two strums of anything at this point. So cut that out, cut that out, cut that out, and cut that out. Basically, think of it like you're tying you're tying this chord to a quarter note, so it brings out the whole beat. And just make sure that you keep that hand, you know. Say the miss thing. So something like this. So one and a two and a three and a miss. One and a two and a three and a miss. One and a two and a three and a miss. Maybe work it up like that. And yeah, starting at 30 or slower, whatever, whatever works for you. Have the subdivision on though, so this way it's easier to follow. Because trying to do 30 beats per minute without the subdivision on, I'd say that's too difficult. It's too freaking slow to line it all up. So subdivision on for the really slow. So that being said, like after taking those ideas and working those up so like the one bar thing where you just stop on the fourth beat and you miss you can work that up by itself and then do what I just demonstrated you play the whole thing just cut off the last two strums making sure you use, you miss that downbeat of four like say up or say miss to tell yourself what it is you're supposed to do and then once that's going okay 
then try doing the whole thing and not a bad idea start off the really slow once it gets going fast enough you can follow the subdivisions well or or if it gets to be too many clicks and it starts to become a sound like a mess then turn the subdivision off so here is the whole thing at 30 I'm going to count off three so you know what I'm going to start and then go. One, two, three, one, and a two, and a three, and a miss. how my right hand is just constant pace the whole time. There's no pausing anywhere. It's just it's the same pace the whole time. That's the goal. 200. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's recap the recap. First thing I recommend trying. See if this helps. Play this much. Work this up from 30 or slower with the subdivision on. When you have the fourth beat here, make sure you tap your foot and make sure that you say miss or up to tell your hand what to do when that fourth beat comes in. And that's it. Work that up for like the first day. Or maybe the first two days. Once that's feeling okay, then do all of this except don't play the last two chords of each bar. So when you're going through it, when you get to the fourth beat, again, make sure you tap your foot, say up or miss, and then do that. Move that hand up on that fourth beat. Make sure that is that is coming up when it's supposed to. And then start real slow, like maybe 30 beats per minute with the, the triplet subdivision on. This way you can start that slow. Once you reach a certain speed where it's like too many clicks happening to start to, and it starts to sound like a mess or you're having a hard time following where you're supposed to be, turn the subdivision off. And then, you know, work that up, that option for a couple days, and then try and do it all again. And stick with the simplified versions as long as you feel you need to. Like, there's no rush. Even if you just do the one bar thing, if that's what you need to stick with, then go ahead and stick with that. So, take your time with it. There's no rush. Just do what you can, best you can. And then we will check in on Tuesday and see how it's coming along. And see if I need to think up something else, then I will do so. We'll, just, we'll try this out, see what happens, and go from there. All right, good luck. I will see you next week.